Let's translate Genesis 1 verse 26. Vayomer Elohim Naase Adam Bitzal Menu Kedmuthenu Vyirdu Bidgath Hayam Uvof Hashemayim Uvam Hema Uvchal Haaretz Uvchal Haremes Haromes Al Haaretz And he said, God, let us make Adam in our image as our likeness. And he let him rule in, I guess in this case it's over. Uh, fish, fish of the sea, and over bird of the heavens, and over livestock. and over all the earth and over all the creeping things which creep over the earth we have and he said god is the one speaking so we're gonna split this up and god said what does he say he says let us make Adam in our image. According to our likeness. And he will rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air uh, over the or the sky and over the beasts and over all the earth And over all the creeping things which creep over all the earth. And God said, let us make Adam in our image according to our likeness and he will rule over the fish of the sea and over the bird of the air and over the beasts, and over all the earth, and over all the creeping things which creep over the earth. So the first thing to note is that Elohim is plural. 
The verb, however, is singular. And so one of the interesting things in Hebrew is that God, Elohim, is plural. But sometimes it refers to God's, lowercase g. And then in many cases, and in most cases, it ends up referring to God, capital G, which is singular by definition. And we know it's singular in this case, even though the noun is plural, because the verb is singular. So God said, as opposed to the gods say. So God said. Now we are dealing with a narrative here and we do have the Vav consecutive here. So while Yomer would normally be uh, will say as an imperfect, the opposite will be true because of the Vav consecutive. So God said, treating it as a perfect. Naase. This is from Asa to do. I remember this because with a saw, I can do many things. Let us make Adam. So Adam, this is the general word for mankind, people. Uh, it can be used of the individual. But the important thing to understand is this is the general term for humanity, humankind, individuals. In fact, if we switch over to BDB, it could be man opposite woman, but collectively man, mankind. Now here it is singular. So I've translated it as Adam, uh, but it would probably be best translated as mankind, singular. And that's how the NRSV has it, humankind. And we'll make humankind in our image. Selim. Statue, idol, image, figure, likeness, replica. A transitory image. Likeness of a man as the Selim of God. And this means humanity is God's image, his viceroy his representative or witness among the creatures. So let us make humanity in our image according to. So expressing identity, expressing conformity, conformity of kind. So this one's conformity of measure. This is conformity of kind. So we're going to make humanity in the likeness, in the kind of us, Elohim. And Kidmuthenu, this is the Muth, model, shape, according to our shape, and he will rule. We have rada. So now we have adjustive, just like we had earlier. It was cohortative. This is a volitional. Then we have another volitional, but this one's adjustive. Co cohortative is used in the first person. Adjustive is used for the third person. So now we're turning our attention to Adam. Let him rule. The NRSV translates it as them instead of singular. But that's because Adam is representative of humanity. So they're making, they're taking that translational license to switch from singular to plural, which makes sense. And let him rule over. So the preposition, ba, mean in, at, among, within which, upon, at, on, within, in spite of, according to, into, with, without, against away from, with, through, with, to, by, when, and never means over in halot. 
So it can mean in, according to BDB, it can mean at, by, on, against, down to, upon, it mean with. It's used with certain classes of verbs, taking refuge, trusting, relying, ruling, governing, restraining. That's what we have here. Lists several examples. Malach, Mashal, Nagas, Atsar, Rada, that's our verb, and Shalat. So it's used with verbs of ruling, governing, restraining. However, it doesn't tell us how to translate it, though the explanation of its use may be sometimes doubtful. So we know that its patterned usage is to go with verbs of ruling, governing, restraining. But BDB does not tell us how to translate it. Is it over? Is it with? Will rule with? Is it upon? Will rule upon? The NRSV translates it as over. But BDB and HA and Halot do not suggest over as an appropriate translation. It makes sense because of the use of uh, Rada. So let's take a look at Rada. And this is in the Cal, so we're looking at the stem, Cal. Tread, rule, rule with B. With is not the translation, but it's saying that it occurs with B. It offers no additional explanation. What about in BDB? Same thing with BDB. It says of fish, but it doesn't say how to translate the preposition. What if we look at the TDOT? Nope, TDOT does not help us at all. What is the force of the prepositions in and according to in this passage? This is from the WBC. So this is Wenham. Venom. I'm not sure how to pronounce their last name. So Venom says the prepositions b, which means in or by, and k, as or like, are not exact synonyms, though their semantic fields do overlap. This treatment is not about the birds or the animals. It's about likeness. It's not our focus. So ultimately, WBC doesn't even address it, glosses over it, and moves on right to verse 27. The term kabash, kavas, means to bring something or someone under control. So the NIVAC Old Testament does not address it at all. It basically just assumes see if the NIB addresses it at all. NIB doesn't address it at all either. It's not position, not presence, it's not a limit, it's not movement to, it's not time, it's not a state or condition. But introduces the predicate, denoting it as that in which the subject consists or in which it shoes, shows itself. He shall rule the fish of the sea. So it can simply just be introducing the predicate. It's not a secondary predicate. A predicate as accusative that I may make them heads over you. Va asi asimem berash shechem. I may make them heads over you. Interesting. So here we do have over as an example of translating ba. So I think we're going to take this and run with it right there. There's an example of ba being translated as over. It's a bit buried, 
but accusative means direct object. So the predicate is everything after the verb. Accusative is specifically the direct object within the predicate. He's going to rule. Rule what? The direct object of that rule is the fish. So we'll take this instance right here as proof positive over is an acceptable translation. That does align with the NRSV over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So good, we're on the right track. Rule over fish, the goth. Fish, ichthion in Greek from the Septuagint, fish. Fish of the sea, hayam, yam. Lake, sea, Mediterranean sea, dead sea, sea of Galilee, sea of reeds. Uh, sea can also mean west. Sea of bronze. So of the fish of the sea and over the bird. Now, what's interesting here is bird is singular. But you'll see in the accordance gloss below, it says birds, plural. Now, Halo translates it as everything that flies. What flies in the sky, in the air. In Middle Hebrew and in Ugaritic, it's bird. Bird flight. That's in uh, Tiger. So, what flies in the sky? Let's take a look at BDB. Flicker, flutter, foul. So, interesting. This is the verb. We want, we don't want the verb. There we go. We want the noun. So it's a collective, flying creatures. So just as we had the singular for Adam, but being a collective, humanity, so we have the singular for bird, but it's a collective, so all flying creatures. Hence, the NRSV translates it plural. Over the sea and over the bird, or the fish of the sea and over the Birds of the heavens. Shemayim, heavens. So it can mean heaven or sky, the apparent roof of the sky, the atmosphere. And it even translates O for us as the birds, plural, the birds of the sky. Or you can translate it in the air. So Shemayim can be a little bit flexible not simply just heaven be heaven's sky atmosphere so we'll go with uh, sky I think that makes sense we've got the sea below the sky above and over all the cattle livestock behema this is animals in general uh, but it can also mean beasts domestic animals cattle so you go from beasts to all on the earth over all call all the whole the whole everything everything on the earth so everything over all the earth Eretz. this is ground earth piece of ground territory regions earth or underworld so we'll just go with whole of the land. So Eretz means ground, earth, piece of ground, territory, country, regions, earth, underworld. But we'll go with number four here, the whole of the land. So just as we have Adam being a collective and Of being a collective, now we've got Eretz being a collective. It does clarify, uh, and over all ha Remes. Remes. 
This is the verb. We don't want the verb. We want the noun. There we go. Remes. It's also a collective. So you see it's singular, but it's a collective. So this is the creatures which creep upon the earth or the creeping things which creep upon the earth. So it's definite. Ha. Remes. Ha remes. The creeping things. And then we have our verb. Romes. Ha romes. It's definite as well. So this makes sense. As a participle, it's going to modify our head noun. So it must match indefiniteness. So ha ha. Remes romes. The creeping things that, because of the participle, we're going to translate the definite article here as that or which. That creep. Now we are looking at the verb. Cal of animals that crawl with all of place. So they crawl all. The place of their crawling is the earth. Haaretz. And over all the creeping things that creep upon the earth. So our translation. And God said, let us make humanity in our image according to our shape, our likeness, and let him rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the beasts and over all the earth and over all the creeping things that creep upon the earth. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, brush up on your Greek and Hebrew and we will see you next time.